Now it's time for Perform Like a Pro. Hey guys, today we're going to work on installing an underground sprinkler system. I'm tired of dragging hoses around and I'm going to show you how we fix it. So first off, we have water coming out here, but I need to know so I can plan the system correctly how much volume that we're dealing with because I need to know how many sprinkler heads I can put on a circuit. So first, we're going to figure out how much water volume we have so that way we can design the system. Let me hook this up here. We'll run a timer. I'm going to run water into this bucket and then we'll know how much water we have. All right, so I'm going to use this PAX. This PAX is not going to be outside where the UV gets it because I'm going to build a cabinet over this whole thing. So this is safe for what I'm doing here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out so I can get some water into that bucket. Put it on the other side of my water valve. Now let that shrink around there. And then I'll be good to put water in the bucket. All right, I'm gonna slide this down like this. That's a nice stuff with this. Grab my phone, go over to my timer. And I know that's a five gallon bucket, so I can go over here and be ready to go. All right, clock, stopwatch. Hold that. Start. All right, 26 seconds. All right, so that's about 10 gallons per minute, which is way more than I need for every one of these small circuits, so we're gonna be good to go. If you have a large yard, that's really where that makes a difference because otherwise you'll turn a sprinkler set on and it will not have enough water and the sprinkler heads won't shoot as far as you want them to. So that's a very key number for designing any sprinkler system. Now I'm mounting this on the wall, which is a little bit different than many times you're gonna put it down into a hole where you've got a cover and things like that. And so what I'm gonna do is I wanna have this accessible because of this deck right here. I don't wanna have to have a big panel to take off in the deck to access this stuff. So I'm gonna build a backer panel here for this and cut it to fit. This is actually a waterproof board, so it'll go up there very nicely. That way, as I build onto this thing and add circuits, I can expand this out as I need to because there's gonna be a cabinet covering all of this. So I've got some dimensions here I wanna cut. I'm gonna make this thing about two foot by three foot. So let's make some marks. The cool thing is, is since I cut this to size, I've lined it up with the grooves in the T111 siding. So all I have to do is come over here, get that lined up with the edges, and it'll be square and level in here. So all I have to do is bring that right to there. Next up here, I want to fasten this loose mess right here because I want to be able to run this valve and use it correctly. So, got a couple clamps here that are meant for this. So, I'm going to come in here just like this. So that way we don't get in the way of this valve at all. I'm gonna sit here and map this up a little bit, get all my solenoids up here and see where this has to go. So let me get those parts. And we'll try I'll fit this and see that we can get this in here just like we need to. All right, so we've got this up here. This is gonna be my whole manifold system here. So this is all the solenoids that the timer controls electronically. So when I want the first station to run, this will turn on here, that'll turn off, next one and so on. And so this is gonna mount up here. Now, traditionally in a sprinkler system like this, especially in Oregon, you have to have a double check valve that has to be certified every year. Mine is on the inside here, so we don't have to worry about that in this situation, but make sure you follow your local building codes to make sure this doesn't put bad water back into your drinking water. That's how you make the neighbors mad. All right, so next is I'm gonna cut this PEX down, line down here a little bit short because I don't want a lot of this outside. It's not meant for UV. We're going to convert over to PVC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to a threaded fitting. So then I can go to a bushing like this and then go into PVC the rest of the way. And that'll be how we do this. So first, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Since we're tight up against the wall here, I'm going to actually get this threaded up first. So I'm going to get some Teflon tape. Anytime you're putting thread to thread like this, 
You want to use a couple wraps of Teflon tape to keep this from leaking. So I guarantee you, it'll try to leak on you. So I put a couple wraps around here, clockwise, so it goes with that. That way, when I thread this on, the tape stays on there. There we go. So all right, that's going to sit just like this. My solenoid valves are going to be way up here because I have a lot of other stuff going in. So this is going to come up and into here. So next, let's cut some pipe and get this thing fastened together. All right, now we're down in the trenches here. Let's get this first one going. So I've got a three quarter inch sprinkler, so I've got three quarter inch threads coming out of this T. So I'm going to first get this pre-assembled, glued up like that. That way I can get this in the hole and get it so it's standing straight up for me. A little more glue on this side. That way I've got that right where I want it. We're going to continue on with the rest of the pipe and then we'll hook the sprinkler. All right, let's go in here with some pipe. I want to get down beyond this handle so I don't have to worry about that moving out of the way. Give myself a nice clear shot to that. Should be good. So I'm going to bring this down about 16 inches. Actually, I'm going to come into 15 inches so I can come around that and go that way. 15 inch. I'm going to get the uh, down pipe down. I already have a pipe that's underneath my deck right now. And I'm going to measure from that here. It'll be about, go to here, about 21 inches. All right. Last connection here before we go out to the sprinkler. Glue in there. Important connection. Let's get that. There we go. Exactly how I want it. Next up, let's put the sprinklers on. All right, our last step on getting the sprinkler in is going to be just hooking this up. I've already got a riser in here. Now, this is going to get put in with a bunch more dirt in here. So, I've got a big landscaping project. So, I don't know exactly how high this is. But what's cool with these is these are a cutoff riser, so I can make them as high as I want. But for now, I'm just gonna get this screwed down in here. Now we're good to go. So we'll test that after we hook up the sprinkler timer. All about saving money, as you know, and you know something, going with this ratio sprinkler timer is the way to do it. You know, the biggest thing we have around here is that sudden rainstorm. This will know that it happened because it's always monitoring your local weather station for you, which means your sprinklers aren't running when it's raining outside because that's just a waste of water and it hits your pocketbook hard. So I'm gonna install this in and then put in the type of soil I have, the trees, the plants, the garden, and it knows to put the amount of water in that's correct and you're not overwatering or underwatering. This is the secret weapon to this project. white, the common, slide in like this, and this is, I'm going to get myself just a little bit that, just snaps in here. So now I get out my trusty app and it's time to go through and add a device. Now this is the important part is putting your home in because it needs to know what the weather is at your home so you have to fill this stuff out. I'm adding it to my network and I actually found my Wi-Fi network on its own because it's grabbing it off my phone which is kind of handy and so that's going to keep setting this up. I'm going to put this cover back on. I don't need to get back into there anymore. All right, now it's time to test the zones and see what we got going on here. 
Let's do it. Hey, hey, there we go. We have water, we got sprinklers, and that's how you put in an underground sprinkler system.